calculate the three significant digits, the density of sulfur hexafluoride gas at exactly 25 degrees Celsius and 1 atm. You can assume sulfur hexafluoride gas behaves as an ideal gas under these conditions. So this problem is asking us to solve the density of an ideal gas. So if you still don't know, there's a formula in solving the density of an ideal gas. So density is equal to the molar mass of the gas times the pressure divided by the ideal gas constant times temperature. So in the problem, we are given sulfur hexafluoride. So that's SF6. So let's solve first the molar mass of SF6. So sulfur, if you look at your periodic table, is 32.07 grams per mole. Plus, there are six fluorines. So six times the molar mass of fluorine is 19 grams per mole. So 32.07 plus 6 times 19, that is equal to 146.07 grams per mole. So you put that as the molar mass. So 146 point zero seven grams per mole times the pressure in the problem is one atm divided by r as we know r is zero point zero eight two one liter atmosphere per mole kelvin and T is the temperature. The given is 25 degrees Celsius. But we know that in ideal gas formulas, the temperature must be in Kelvin. So you need to convert degrees Celsius to Kelvin. And how do you convert Celsius to Kelvin? So for example, here we're given 25 degrees Celsius. You simply add, you just add, 273.15. So 25 plus 273.15, that is 298.15. So that is our temperature in Kelvin. So let's see how the units cancel out. So the lit, so the ATMs would cancel out, the moles would cancel out, the Kelvins would cancel out. So the unit for density is grams over liters. Now grab your calculator and type these numbers, 146.07 times 1 divided by 0 0.0821 times 298.15 and that is equal to 5.97 approximately. So I already rounded this up, 5.97 grams per liter. And this is the answer to the question.